In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of cotangent of negative pi over 6 using SARC. So SARC is just a quick acronym to help keep all the information organized that is necessary when finding an exact value. So you can see it's broken down here. S stands for sketch the angle. A, ASTC, which helps you decide if your answer is positive or negative. R, reference triangle and coordinates and C, calculate the trig ratio. So we're gonna do this for the cotangent of negative pi over six. All right, so to just start, we're going to sketch the angle and we really just care about the terminal side. So remember an angle with a negative in front simply means you rotate in the clockwise direction. Okay, that negative sign indicates that clockwise rotation. So here's zero, here would be negative pi. And so negative pi over six is just like negative one sixth pi. So only a sixth of that half rotation. So the terminal side would be about here, and that is our angle. So we are in the fourth quadrant. Um, so we are ready now to move on to step two. The A helps us remind, remember to think ASTC, and that's just the acronym so that we can decide which trig functions are positive or negative in each quadrant. And we really just care about the fourth quadrant here. Um, and the acronym, so now we can move on to step two. ASTC, or you can think all students take classes, helps us know which trick functions are positive in each quadrant. And you just work your way around from the first quadrant. So all are positive in the first, sine and its reciprocal cosecant in the second, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent in the third, and cosine and its reciprocal secant in the fourth. So we really care about the fourth here. We know only cosine and secant are positive and thus cotangent, which is what we're finding, must be negative. So go ahead and mark that negative in your notes. And I like to go ahead and put it there for my final answer just so I don't forget. And now we've taken care of the negatives and we can simply think about our first quadrant angles and coordinates for the rest of our work. We're now in step three, where we want to find our reference angle, and that's just the amount of rotation from the terminal side back to the x-axis. Well, that's just, of course, pi over six here. Um, and so we know that our special right triangle that corresponds with pi over six, or 30 degrees, looks like this, with the longer leg horizontal and the shorter leg as the vertical leg. And because we know our unit circle, um, if you don't, be sure to check that out. Um, there are lots of great ways to learn that. Um, I definitely will post some videos about that. All right, but we know that this 30 degree, 30, 60, 90 triangle has coordinates that are the square root of three over two for the X and one half for the Y. And so now we can use these coordinates to calculate our trig ratio. So our cotangent of our angle is going to be x over y. All right, so when we're doing this calculation, we have the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. So let's actually multiply that by the reciprocal. Since it's divided by fractions, you just multiply by the reciprocal instead. You can cross cancel those 2's here. They have a common factor of 2 and reduce to 1. And then we're left with just the square root of 3. All right, so our cotangent of negative pi over six, we had already decided it was negative in step two, so it's negative square root of three. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check the video description for links to more examples of worked out exact values.